What's up everyone? This is Bill with BLR Tuning. You guys know what time it is. I got a quick video for you guys today. It's going to be a nice and simple install. My friends over at A and UTV Pro have sent me out a windshield for the Can-Am Riker. So this is adjustable, slides up and down. It's going to be a really sharp look on the bike. Uh, it's bolts right on, very simple. It uses a 4mm Allen for the uh, bolts. So you're going to need either a uh, something like a socket, something like this. I think this will be easiest because it can swivel and get back in there, or even this will work here. Okay, it does come very nicely packaged. Everything was wrapped in bubble wrap and foam. The windshield is all taped. I'm going to take this off as we get ready to do the install. So the windshield's all wrapped up in plastic, so it's not going to be scratched up and damaged. It does have really nice instructions here. Very nice colored instructions. Everything's printed out really plain as plain as day, plain as it can get anyway. Then you got uh, four bolts, four washers. Okay, like I said, it's gonna be a pretty straightforward install. Uh, I'm gonna break everything down, show you guys how to do it. And uh, we're gonna get it installed out here on the uh, Blue Dragon, my Can-Am Riker 900 Ace. Uh, the bike is a 2019 model. Okay, this will fit all models. So this will fit the new 22s, this will fit everything, 600, 900 rally, all years. Okay, and there'll be a link in the description below to go purchase it. I'll put that up on screen here. So these are gonna be $169.90 on Amazon. Now, like I said, you'll be able to check out that link in the description below. And go check those guys out. They have quite a few products now for the Riker and they are working on more products. You guys may have seen the handguard video I did for them. Um, I have a bunch of their products that we're going to be installing over the course of the next few weeks here. So uh, let's head out to the bike and go check it out. What's up guys? I wanted to take a quick 40 second time out and show you our new Etsy shop. If you go to etsy.com slash shop slash BLR tuning, you can check out all the items that we have in the shop and we have items for multiple vehicles. If you are a YouTube subscriber, you can use the discount code BLUEDRAGON10 at checkout and that will get you 10% off your order on anything in our shop. Make sure you use all capital letters. Thanks for supporting us. It is greatly appreciated. We are trying to add new items on a daily basis. If you have questions about custom tuning work, you can get a hold of me through social media or directly through Etsy. Thanks for supporting us. Have a great day. Okay guys, you can see we're out here at the Riker and you have four threaded holes, two here and then you're going to have two here and that's where our screws are going to go through and attach the new windshield. Okay, then here we can see up close we got the tape off the windshield. Okay, and here's that plastic. So this is essentially going to go through it like this. All right, and I'll show you a little better on camera, but over on the tripod. But uh, it's going to go through there like that. And then it's going to sit up there up on the dash. Those holes line up. Screw goes through, washer goes on first, then a bolt goes through there. Okay, those four millimeter Allens. Okay, and then this windshield is also adjustable. So you would loosen this, and now you can raise and lower the height because the whole thing slides on this metal bracket. Okay, and then it slides back down wherever you want it. And then you would just push this all the way down tight to latch it in place. If this latch is too snug, like you can see, I think it's a little bit too tight. This bolt back here will loosen up the sliding mechanism on the lock. So if this is loose at all, you would adjust that little four millimeter Allen bolt on the other side. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get it installed uh, on these uh, screws that go up here at the top you're going to be going in like so. So what I like to do when I do installs like this where I have to reach in between something is take a little masking tape and put it right here on the plastic just so that way when we're twisting this wrench we're not scratching this all up because you know it's brand new, it looks nice, we don't want to scratch it all up. Okay, so you can use just a little masking tape right here to protect that so as you're threading that bolt in, you're not sitting here rocking around on this plastic and scratching it. Okay, and then these bottom ones will go right through here. When you're installing this, the easier ones are going to be the top ones first. 
because they're the harder ones to install just because you have to reach through here but you'll be able to pivot this outward and get it to where it's comfortable to get those in then slide it down so get these top two in loosely so we're going to go washer bolt get the top two in on the left and right loosely and now we can adjust this where it lines up and then go for the bottom two because the bottom two are fairly easy you can reach in here easy so you'll want to be able to move this around a little bit just to get it out of your way to where you can get back here behind it with, to get those bolts in okay so we'll go show you that on camera right now okay guys i'm gonna be putting this on here and showing you how to do it okay so just bear with me here okay and I am going to be using just a little bit of blue Loctite on the threads here because we are we don't want it to vibrate loose. That will suck. So not much, just a little tiny bit will work just fine. We are going to be using some masking tape on there. Okay, and getting this windshield up to the highest position that it can go up to. We're going to need to get it up here, something like this. Okay, we're going to grab one of our screws here. Hopefully get it to stay on there like that. And we do need to come through here so you can see how I'm doing that so we can get it in there like that okay and then you need to line it up with the threads and remember it should thread in smoothly don't cross thread it don't break it all right that's the goal don't break it like I said you can see how I'm scraping this plastic right here that's why I have the masking tape okay Okay, so, so I got my masking tape on there. And like I said, we're going to get the top two in, okay? So you're going to need to get it to sit on your Allen head like that. You're going to need it to drop through here. And you're going to need it to line up in both pieces. And then line up with the threads. Okay, and just take your time. Like I said, we're going to leave it loose, and now we're going to do the uh, bottom two. Okay, so now we can rock this guy forward. We can line it up with these bottom holes. We're going to leave it loose, and we're going to get the other one in, and then we're going to come through and tighten them all down. And all four bolts, uh, all four bolts and washers, they're all the same. There's no uh, no difference between them. Okay. Don't over tighten it. There's no need to. Uh, you don't need to torque it down or anything crazy. I right. just want to get it to where it's snug. And not gonna move around, and that's why I use that. Uh, that's why I say use that blue Loctite, right? Because these won't aren't gonna vibrate back out of here on you over time. Because losing a bolt is always a pain in the rear. Okay, there we go. Now we have a. Uh, our locking mechanism here All right and now this whole thing slides up and down wherever we see fit 
and then we can latch it back up. Pretty straightforward install, four bolts, four washers. Okay, I'll take you for a walk around the bike and we'll check it out. Okay guys, so here it is after complete install. The A and UTV Pro adjustable windshield for the Riker. This is in its highest position. And then you can see that we got their hand guards on there. So really straightforward, simple install. And you simply come over here, remember just that locking bolt on the back to where you feel comfortable with it before you put it on there. There you go. Right now it's locked in place. Doesn't have too much play to it. And you can see there's what it looks like in its lowest position. So real stealthy, clean look. It's gonna def design specifically to deflect the wind up and over your helmet and flick the wind off of you. You know, so you don't get that bobblehead effect when you're riding. Okay, really digging it. Came out looking really nice on the Riker. Looks really sharp. Very high quality. Uh, like I said, I'll put the price up here on the screen. $169.90. Okay, there'll be an Amazon link for you guys down below. And then, uh, you, as always, we have all of our own accessories, including our shirts that we just got back in stock. Put a picture of our shirts up here. Um, I'll put a link to the Etsy shop. My subscribers use uh, code BLUEDRAGON10. I'll put it across screen, all capital letters. That will get you 10% off your order on our entire shop. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of the new windshield. I think it looks pretty dang sharp. I'm impressed with it. Huge shout out to ANU TV Pro for sending this out to me to do a little install and review on it. Um, we've had one on the bike for a while now and been riding with it. Very high quality, holds up great under high speeds, you know. 80 plus miles an hour deflects the wind right up and over your head you can adjust it for your height you know and remember these curved windshields like that the goal isn't to be looking through it the goal is to just see over the top of it yeah you're never supposed to be looking through the windshield you're supposed to be looking just over the top of it the windshield on a bike is designed to flick the wind up and over you okay in other words known as a windscreen is what it's more familiar is called on a motorcycle Anyways, thanks for watching the video, you guys. Like I said, link below to this windshield, link below to our Etsy shop. We have all of our products available for you guys. Hey, okay. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.